U.S. Capitol Police arrested more than 300 protesters in the rotunda of a congressional office building on Capitol Hill. The protesters were calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. This was inside the Cannon Rotunda. Protesters are not allowed inside congressional buildings. Members of the Trump family immediately drew comparisons to January 6th, saying when Republicans do it, it's called an insurrection. When the left does it, it's called a protest. Is there any kernel of equivalency here, John? Well, both are illegal trespasses. Now, nobody got killed here. Uh, that would be a, right. a fundamental difference. The 300, uh, I mean, the, you know, it, the it, reason it stopped was well, because they made all know, those arrests. Yeah, and they got Rashida Tlaib lying to them about the uh, hospital. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad look for Democrats. Yeah, typically uh, the Republicans like when the President of the United States lies to them and foments people. This is uh, nuts that they did this, but there is no equivocation here. Uh, nobody got killed, no police officers were assaulted. Tlaib is nuts, and it seems like these supporters are, but nobody's gone crazy like the Republicans have. This wasn't a Jan mini January 6th. Come on, give me a break. Now to our quote of the week. A couple of key figures in the Georgia election case against former President Donald Trump have taken plea deals in the past few days. Trump legal team attorneys Ken Cheeseborough and Sidney Powell. Powell was at the forefront of efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 election or presidential election results. Donald Trump narrowly lost the state to President Biden. Powell pleaded guilty, but only to six misdemeanors, no felonies. And she gives us just one word in our quote of the week. A prosecutor asked her, how do you plead to the six counts of conspiracy to commit intentional interference with performance of election duties? She responded, guilty. Perhaps the biggest key here, though, is the bottom of the quote, what the judge told Powell. You are to testify truthfully against any and all co-defendants. What does that mean for Donald Trump, Michael? Walls continue to shrink on Donald Trump. This is a big Brad problem. The other question I have is whether or not she is cooperating with the special prosecutor, Jack Smith, which would be even more treacherous for Donald Trump. Are we getting closer to where Donald Trump's legal goose is cooked? Well, this is not good news because the defense on Georgia for Donald Trump is that he was acting on advice of counsel. He gets a memo from Ches Chesbro. Sidney Powell's advising him one thing. And if, they, if the lawyers are pleading guilty and he's ap operating on advice of counsel, I think his defense has gotten a little trickier. Well, there's not a lot hanging over her head, though, with six Well, she got a sweetheart deal. Right. So, I mean, she could kind of ride the fence a little, it, not be as, provide as much damaging testimony. Well, potentially, but this is just in the she... Georgia case, guys. Remember, she's also a player in the federal case, which has felonies there. I, I don't think she walks away scot-free. Final thoughts are next. First, here's a view from Bomberito.com Drone Fox, the Daniel Boone Bridge. 